Hello everybody, it is Pro here, and today I will be showing the top 10 mods for Minecraft 1.16.3. These are going to be some of the best mods for Minecraft 1.16.3, so make sure to stick around for the entire video to see them all. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. It's free and you can change your mind later. So let's go ahead and take a look at the top 10 mods for Minecraft 1.16.3. At number 10 on our list for the top 10 mods for Minecraft 1.16.3, we have the Gravestone mod. Now this mod adds in gravestones to your game, and that is the only thing that it adds into your game. In order to obtain one of these, you have to die. So let's say that you're you're out walking around and for some reason you just you know die the first thing you're gonna notice when you die is you have an obituary it gives you the name of the person that died the dimension they died in the date that they died and the time the location and yeah that's about it it also shows your character it shows you the items they had and after you're done reading that you'll see that there is a gravestone on the ground it has my name on it and my head is sticking out what you can do is you can right click on the gravestone and it'll tell you information about the player once you break the gravestone you'll see that it will open up and you will get all of the items the player had on him so it's a pretty cool mod that adds in gravestones to your game it adds in a little bit more detail so if you die it's not just your stuff goes flying everywhere it will actually go into a gravestone so in a way it will save your stuff it won't be on the ground spitting there it will actually be inside of a gravestone so you don't have to worry about it despawning at number nine on our list for the top 10 mods for minecraft 1.16.3 we have the uppers mod so in normal minecraft you just have your hopper you put an item into the chest it will go through the hopper and into the other chest you can also put hoppers going in directionally so you can have it go down and then go to the right and all of the items will filter into the chest but in minecraft there is no way to make a dropper face upwards so what uppers does is it adds in a new block to your game called an upper what the upper is it's basically an upside down hopper so say you put an item in here you'll see that it actually starts draining out and it'll go into this chest into this upper and then finally into this chest. It goes from this chest to this upper and into this chest. So it's pretty unique and it could probably help you compact some redstone designs. Actually, it's actually gonna help you do a lot of things with redstone because you know, now you can have hoppers facing upwards. It's a super helpful mod and I would suggest installing it if you are a redstone person. One thing that I thought you could do with this mod is that you can make a little deposit box. So you put in whatever you want to deposit it will then deposit out of that chest it will go through these hoppers into this upper which will then transfer items all the way up to the top at number eight in our list for the top 10 mods for minecraft 1.16.3 we have the trash slot mod what this mod does is when you open your inventory you will see that you have an additional slot what is this slot for well it is used to trash items that you don't need so you can put an item in there and it will destroy it once you close out of your inventory and open back up but after you put something in there you can take whatever else you want to put and you just put it in there and it will destroy the other item and it will put the new item in there so the trash slot is super helpful if you have a lot of cluttered items and you just don't want them anymore just put them into that slot and they'll be gone forever. At number seven on our list, we have a mod called Sit. So what does Sit do? Well, if you've ever wanted to actually sit on your slabs or sit on your stairs without having to crouch like this, Sit makes it so that you do not have to crouch on them and all you have to do is right click on it and you will actually just sit in it like a normal person. No more standing on the stair and crouching, that's just weird. You can now just sit on it. It's the same thing with slabs. You run over to your slab, you right click it, and you'll be able to sit on the slab. At number six on our list for the top 10 mods for Minecraft 1.16.3, we have Neat. So what does Neat do? Well, if you've ever wanted to know the health of a friendly mob or a hostile mob, Neat makes it so that every mob will have a health bar. You can see that this bee is at 100% health and it will take me 10 hits to kill it. So if I hit it once, you'll see that it's at nine health. So that means nine more hits and it will die. And the same thing works when critting it, uh, it will take down its health like that. So you see now it's at five health. And then on the right there, it tells you its maximum health. And in the corner there, you will see a spider eye. At number five on our list for the top 10 mods for Minecraft 1.16.3, we have the fast leaf decay mod. This mod makes it so that when you uh, break a tree and you break the last log, the leaves will actually decay faster than usual. If you just break the entire tree down, you'll see that in a matter of seconds, all of the leaves will disappear. This mod helps so that if you break a tree and you don't want the leaves to be, be there all the time, they'll just quickly disappear and you don't have to worry about breaking them all. It also still gives you all the apples, sticks, and saplings that you would normally get, so you're not missing out on anything. All it does is make the leaves disappear faster, which is super helpful. At number four on list, we have the Nature's Compass mod. What this mod does is it adds in a compass to your game that you can use to find any biome in the game that you want to find. All you have to do is right click on your Nature's Compass and find a biome that you want to find. So say I want to find a beach, all I, do, all I have to do is select beach and then I hit start search and I can begin looking for it. So it tells me that the beach is 104. 
40 or so blocks away and it's going to tell you the coordinates right there you can see right there and eventually i will arrive at my destination which in this case is a beach i could select dark forest hills and well that one's going to be a little bit further away but i am going in the right direction at number three on the list is waddles this mod requires us to go to a very cold place and that's because waddles adds in penguins now who does not want penguins in the game you see you even have the baby penguins you have the adult penguins they're very noisy uh they make a very bad sound when you hit them, so don't hit them. And this just adds in more variety to your snowy area, because now you now you have penguins and polar bears. And, you know, that, 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 that lightens up the snowy area. And soon we're going to have goats, so you can go up into your mountains. You can have polar bears, penguins, and soon a goat. Now, this is the only thing that this mod adds. All it does is it adds in penguins, so it's not a mod that adds in a lot of stuff. It just adds in one thing, penguins. At number two on our list, we have a mod called Open Blocks Elevator. Have you ever wanted to have an elevator in Minecraft? Because, you know, stairs are just out of fashion. Well, this mod gives you the ability to add elevators. All you have to do is you go in, you stand on the elevator block, and if you want to go up, you jump, and it will transport you to the top. And if you want to go down, you crouch, and it will transport you down to the bottom. You can also hide the elevator block, so if you click it with a block, it will hide it as the block. And if you want to hide the arrow, you can also hide the arrow. But what the arrow does is it makes it so you face a certain direction when you teleport. So if I want to face west, I click W, I jump, I'll go up to the top, and when I crouch, I will be facing west when I go back down. You can obviously have more than two floors. You go up here, you jump, you go up to the second, and then you go to the third. You can also do it pretty fast. So that was the elevator block mod. Uh, obviously, those are going to have different colors. Let's go ahead and take a look at number one on our list. The next and final mod for the top 10 mods for Minecraft 1.16.3 is a mod called Aquaculture 2. What this mod does is it adds in a lot more fish to your game. So you can see that there are just a ton more fish that are added. There are different kinds of hooks. You have mounts. And here you can see all of the fish that you could catch. It even adds in a new ore to your game called Neptunium. It is better than diamond, and there's just a lot of stuff you can make with it. But the most notable thing in this mod is to do fish. So here we have that. We have a, a small mouth bass, a jellyfish, that guy. We have an Atlantic herring, uh, that guy. That is a that is an interesting looking fish. Uh, this guy, you can't really see them. I'm trying to like show you them, but I think the coolest thing in this mod is definitely the jellyfish. And these are all biome specific fish. Again, you're not just going to find these fish in just like your normal ocean. Here I am trying out the Neptunian armor. You can see it is better than diamond. I have full bars and here we can test out the tools. It is faster than diamond and it has more durability than diamond. So here we are breaking it is way faster than diamond. So this has been the top 10 mods for Minecraft 1.16.3. If you enjoyed this video and it helps you out, make sure to drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Let's try to get to uh, a lot of likes on this video. I hope you guys are enjoying Mod Month so far. Mod Month is basically where I upload a lot of modded videos throughout the entire month. So I will see you in the next video, which will either be on Friday or Saturday. See ya.